Good afternoon, everyone. This is Sherry with Studio 28E, and I have finished my butterflies and flower journal, and I thought I would share it with you. It's got about 120 pages in it. It's, let's see, about six and a quarter inches wide, about eight and a half inches, eight and a half inches high tall, high, whatever, and it has a two and a half inch spine. It's got three signatures. This closure is um, like a popsicle stick, a craft stick or whatever. Uh, I got the idea from Jeanette and I cannot remember her last name and I'm sorry, Jeanette. I know she's in a lot of the groups, but um, yes, it's... Uh, so it's not attached, it's, I didn't want to squash anything, but I wanted it to stay flat. So it does come off. And I uh, put this little um, embellishment tag type thing, th you know, with the ribbon through it. I'm gonna glue it, I think, so it'll stay where it's supposed to on the closure. So this is the cover and on the cover there's Tim, little Tim Holtz girl, some purple flowers are, I got from Tim, the, the Tim Holtz collection. And this gorgeous butterfly, and it's uh, I got some floral trim here. This is vintage rickrack I got from my friend Melissa Barnes. And this is just that blue, funky kind of yarn. You're going to see strings throughout. I probably got to go through and trim some of them. But um, this is the cover. <clears throat> Inside, there's a pocket with a, a butterfly. In the pocket, there's a, um, a little book, booklet, writing booklet. And it has almost like, um, oh, like one of those legal envelope closures with the buttons on it. Contract, is that what it's called? I'm not sure. Policy envelopes, that's what it is. And here's the first page. And that's from the kit. And this. I left a lot of page, pages blank for you to write on, but there's also a lot of other pages, you know, that are light enough where I think you can write, or there's some spots that I think that you can fill in. And here's one of the embellishments from the kit I made into a tab. Here is a stencil, flower stencil. It's a blank page with lace on it. This is a jelly print that I made a while back. I believe it was done on a um, Middletown crafting meetup on a Saturday. This is a page that I dyed with food color. It's pink and blue and there's um, some old vintage trim and on the other side is just a looks like texture that I designed on my computer. This is a lined sheet. It too has a design in the back of it, but you may not be able to see it on camera. Here's, I'm not sure what I used for this. I've said that before. These look like little flowers. So I'm gonna have to try to find that, but that's coffee dyed. And here's a cluster with some sari silk, some lace, and then um, this is part of the kit. And I embellished it with some puffy paints or uh, a little bit of stickles. Pearls, I think the the others. This is um, some scrapbook paper that you know, obviously has some of the colors on the outside, yellow and blue. And on the other side, there's a pocket with a vintage postcard. Uh, there's no date, but it does say made in USA. That's positive. JP New York. So that goes in there. I didn't. Uh, use a lot of inks on the edges of anything. That's from the kit. This is a writing page from the kit. There's a belly band. And this belly band, I believe, should. But you know what? I put glue in it, so it may not. I glued the embellishment on. after. I 
I made it, so. It's supposed to slide up and down. I can probably get it to do so, but um, and I don't know who made these tags, but they went perfectly with this kit. It makes me mad. I know it's just a stuck in one little spot, but you know, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen on camera, right? And if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen to me. So anyway, I will fix that. And it's got a little bit of bling here on the side. Let's see, here's a page from the kit. Here's some cherry dyed paper. I put a stamp out of limitations comes creativity. The other side, here's some stenciling of butterflies. That's from the kit. Here's a pay, uh, an envelope that was um, jelly printed. And there's another vintage postcard in it. Uh, no date, but it's greetings, fond wishes, all good wishes and time come true. The best wishes I wish for you. Best of wishes I wish for you. I don't know if there's, there could be a few pockets without anything in it, but I'm not sure. A page from the kit. This came from the kit was a card. You can use it as a tuck spot, flip up from right underneath it. It's a stencil. Just this cherry dyed paper. It's the other side that you saw on that side, the first side. First side, one of the first few pages, that's the rest of the stencil. Actually, it's the placemat I use. So this is from the kit. This is from the kit. This is from the kit. It's got lined pages. And I didn't even think when I laid this down, but this is um, one of the, I think we called them, was a hundred page headers or, oh, what do they call it? Anyway, they're made, we um, did a hundred of them, yeah. And uh, this one has some mushrooms and flowers and butterfly and little girl. And this one is just all uh, Tim Holtz flowers. These butterf little butterflies, uh, but mushrooms I made. And that's from the kit. Here's the other side of that scrapbook paper, a little cluster with some Tim Holtz items and a, a vintage 1890 receipt from C.H. Acorn Doctor. Doctor? Dealer in family groceries, flowers, country produce. I don't know. Fresh and corned meats, fruit and confectionery. So, and it was for $5.73 for merchandise. Here's, there's a little bit of lace on some of the bottoms of the pages. This is actually a vintage trim, I believe. I got at an estate sale. There's a little cluster with the flower and some funky yarn and some gauze behind it or cheese cheesecloth. So, and this has, um, I don't, I don't know if I made that or not. I think I did. I think it was in the 100 page. No, because I don't have these colors of flowers. Anyway, it's very cute. It makes a nice flip up can write on it, can write under it. It's got a little bit of doily here. I don't know, it was in my box of those. I forget what they're called though. I'll try to give it the stamp with some flowers on a bicycle. It's a writing page. That's the other side of the textured page I did on the computer and the vintage trim. Here's a ephemera from the kit. I slid some Monopoly money in there, and your bank made an error, and you get $200 for that error. But, good time, you gotta pay the hospital bill for 100 bucks, so it came in at a good time. All right? You got $1,000, plus you got the $200, and you, you still come up on the good side. This is supposed to be a belly band, and I don't know what I did. I'll slide something in there before. Um, I put this in my shop, but I had something, I had some cards here. 
to put in there, and now I don't know where they are. But I will find them and put them in there. It could be under this cloth. Here's the outside of the belly band. Here's some of the vintage lace and butterfly stamps, Tim Holtz. And here's one of the fancy, shiny butterflies. Page from the kit. I don't know what that is. Dusty, dusty, dusty. Oh, I think it's like eraser dust, I'm not sure. And here's some lace. It's kind of a peachy color. I don't know if it's vintage or not. I've gone to this um, estate sale and I got like this whole drawer full of lace. It goes to one of those stacking dressers, the plastic dressers. And you bought it by the drawer and it was $12 for each drawer. Well, it was chock full of lace and flowers and trims. And, I mean, you couldn't get any more in it. So it was a very good deal, but that was in it. She made a lot of dolls and Santa Clauses, um, like vintage looking dolls and Santa Clauses. Beautiful. It's from the kit. It's a belly band with a journaling card in it. Let's see other, another page from the kit. Here's a page I eco dyed. And if you look closely, you can see the doily that I had laid it on. Now. Sometimes when you eco dyeing you're using the flowers and the stems, it makes your paper. I mean, I ironed it, but you still get creases and stuff. But that's part of the beauty of it. And here's a ruffle I made with the fabric. This side has a um, pocket and a tag that you can write on. This is from the kit. And this I made using some scrapbook paper that had flowers on it. And I had made it for something else, and I don't... Never used it, I guess. Unless it was just something I made extra. And it's a little glitzy, but I thought everything was perfect. The butterfly and the, you know, the colors and stuff. So here's an envelope I made from a flower magazine or catalog. And here's a journaling card inside. Tight fit, but it does go in. Straight, put it in straight, goes in. Fold it over, and this is an altered paper clip. And you I'll have to keep checking there. I've got to figure out how to get this on my computer screen as I go. This is a page I stenciled. That's another page that from the kit that looks like it has texture on it. This is from the kit, a little bit of washi on it another tuck spot with um, A.S. Miller dealer in boots, shoes, rubbers. Fifth and North Hand, Hampton Streets, Easton, PA. It's a business card. And that is vintage or antique. Slide that right in. Here's another um, piece of the ephemera from the kit that I made into a tuck spot for this uh, journaling card from the kit. There's an altered paper clip. It's got reds and reds and threads, glue threads and paper, uh, fabric threads on it, but I'll get them off. And it holds this tag and the journal. Uh, there's nothing super fancy. I did put a lot of work into it, but I see lots of other journals with lots of other fancy stuff. But this is some beautiful trim I bought, you know, from that place that we're not supposed to buy from. I can't remember the name. I think it's Timmy's. But anyway, but I loved it and I bought it. It was really inexpensive. But, you know, it's the same stuff that you got at Hobby Lobby. It all comes from the same place. Here's two vintage splash cards. Come in here, come in here. I don't know what it goes to. Must be a game or something. Or something they did at school. I don't know. But it's a flower and a butterfly. It's the back side. Here's a tuck spot. And I put two postcards in here. And I believe these are, yes. 
they are cards where they play chess through the mail. I'm not sure how that works. I don't know how to play chess anyway, so. And I tucked them in here. Obviously, that's the other side of the envelope. Here's um, page toppers. That's what they are. Here's a page, one of the page toppers I made, and I put flowers and a bow uh, on the pink, the pink rose and put it back in here. This is a window envelope that I decorated. And then the flowers show through and you can pull that out. And you can put some more items in there if you'd like or change it out. Here's another page from the kit that I decorated with some pink flowers and some red flowers because it goes along with this tag with the pink flowers and the red. This was a challenge. Um, they had us use netting and um, fibers, netting, fibers, a butterfly. I can't remember. It wasn't that long ago. A butterfly, flowers, and a flip up. So um, I'm going around the back of it. So that goes in there and it's got the yellow ribbon on the top. That's why I added all these extra things because it actually goes with the tag. Page from the kit. Here's uh, more of that trim. Here's one of those page toppers. And I don't know what these are really called, but when we were kids, we called them helicopters or whirly gigs. They come off of the trees and they stayed a beautiful pinkish color. So I thought, well, I'm gonna make a butterfly out of those. And I was really pleased. I mean, I didn't have that many, but with the way they came out. And then I put some gold roses on the bottom of it. And it, this goes really well with this term. And of course, I've got the lace on it. This is coffee dyed paper that I used a doily or a placemat for with, sorry. This is the center. Where did I get, oh, this is the center of the center signature, sorry. And this is, like I said, this fabric fibers. I'll have to pull them all off. A butterfly that uh, one of the girls from our Saturday, Middletown Saturday uh, crafty meetup had. And it opens up, I guess I could have glued it to the page pages, but um, so it would open up even more. But I added it to this tag so it would give it some body, but it's supposed to... You know it, it opens up and here's some little flowers and then some little blingy flowers on some lace that's a cluster now these um one of the girls from the crafty saturday meetup brought these they're wooden they're kind of cute i like them i thought they went i mean they go with the theme but you know i mean it's not a children's but she's got a flower he's got a butterfly and then i put a butterfly stamp on there but it only it looks like I put it on the other side and it bled through, but I didn't. That's the original side, so I don't know why it looks like that. And here's the hummingbird and butterflies. They're um, gathering nectar. There's the other side of the um, eco-dyed paper. Some more of that ruffle. Here's another pocket. And here's some trim that needs to be glued down. Oh. You guys like being on camera and something shows up that you're like oh my gosh here's a couple of um, checks from 1927 one for ten dollars and one for a dollar 25 cleaning of house they paid a whole dollar 25 oh but on this one they paid ten dollars so I wonder if James was better than Leroy Hmm. Well, maybe they were different size houses. I don't know. I think she'll wind up, right? So down the page of the kit. Here's another one of those floral embellishments I put um, on the acrylic, acrylic butterfly. Here's a tag from the kit. You can write on the back. It's got gauze here or uh, cheesecloth for the 
topper. There's another one of those page toppers. This one has, oh, you can still see daisies and flowers and whatnot on it. And behind it, I stuck this letter in it. It says airmail. If you can airmail for six cents, you're going somewhere. I, got, I did not read this letter, so I have no idea what's in it. So, uh, it was dated March 15th, 1957. I remember writing letters. Oh, it was from Mom and Pop. So, anyway, I'll be filling them in on family gossip. But that goes in there. Here's a little playing card with butterflies on it. This is ephemera from the kit. I made it into a duck spot. It's another page of the kit. Here's just the back side of a page. I put some stamping on that's from the kit. And this is the last signature. If you notice, there are tabs on some of them. Um, this has some of the vintage work rack and I got some green. I don't know where I got this from green uh, lace that I put on this page topper that is all butterflies and mushrooms. And here's a page on the magazine. I made a journal card from it. Actually, it's a catalog. And it's got Chinese writing on it, but it came from like Gurney's or one of those places. So, so see what I mean? Always comes out when you're on the camera. That down. People will be wondering what they're getting. This I will have a, this listed in my Etsy shop later. It's a Tim Holtz butter uh, floral. I wasn't sure which way it went, so I just put it that way. And I had these butterflies that are like a pink. Oil. Those are pretty. So I added them from the kit. This is my cherry dyed paper using one of those placemats. You can get them at Walmart or you can get them on Etsy, not Etsy, Timu or Amazon. Here's a writing card, journal card. Just slides under these flowers to stay in place. More lace. Page from the kit, the other side of the magazine with the lace. It's a picture frame with some butterflies. Butterfly stamps. Here's a pocket with two tags in it. There's another flower on this pattern paper I made. That's a scrap of paper. That's from the kit. There's another envelope. I um jelly printed can you it's got two different it's got the same doiling on it or a piece of plastic tablecloth that you can buy by the yard and i did it in different colors and the gold showed up the best on all the other colors so i don't know if i put any no nope, haven't put anything in there and this I'll stick a little more glue behind there um Daisy holds holds it closed. So it's a page from the kit with some orange and red and pink and orange and pink term, I guess. White. This is just from the magazine and I put a little bit of bling at the bottom. It's a blank page. That printed. Here's another belly band. Here's a pocket of a stamp. It's a pretty butterfly. It's blue or teal paper that I dyed with some of the lace on it. And there's um, a stencil. That's the other side of that. This is the other side of the magazine page and it has a pocket on it. This is from the kit. I think it depends too on the glue that you use to hold things down. I'm not sure what I used on this, but didn't like, I mean, this trim could have been too thick for it. I don't know. I mean, it held on the edges all right, but 
know. There's another page of the cherry dyed. The border for this was beautiful. It was red, 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 red. And I said, oh boy, I'm going to get some red paper. Or some, at least some dark pink paper. Nope. Here's a little envelope. There's something in there. Inside that belly band. There's another tuck spot with a little envelope. And one of those butterfly cards. Here's a page from the kit. There's uh, one of the pages that I just stamped on, Flowers in Bloom. Ring page from the kit. That's eco dyed paper that I scanned in. And the last page just has a big red butterfly on it. And there's a pocket in the back. And one of those... 3D butterflies, I guess you'd call it. And that's the back of the journal. Um, I'm going to list it in my Etsy. If you're interested, you can let me know. Um, either through this video, or you can send me an email, or uh, contact me through Facebook. Either way, um, this is the journal i mean this isn't the one that's for the giveaway but don't forget to go back and comment on that video that i made for the giveaway that says you need to do the hashtag um thankfulness 24 and um there are several prizes one is a journal prize number one is a journal prize number two is three digital kits prize number three it's two digital kits, and if you are out of the United States, you get a $20 gift certificate from Etsy, or maybe I'll do Amazon. I don't know. Depends on, I'll ask the person that wins, if they're from, you know, if they happen to be from another uh, country, if they'd rather have the Amazon or the Etsy. But that's it so far, and um, please like, subscribe, share, like, subscribe, share, and comment on this video. And please join our Facebook group, um, Studio, Studio 28E Journal Creations. Uh, we are a small group. Um, we were quite large for a while, and we changed it around, and now we're, going, we're trying to build it back up, and I'm trying to build up my channel. So I really would appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to do better about getting videos out, but uh, I think I've done a little bit better because I think this is like my third video in a week or so, maybe even more, I don't know. But thank you for watching, and um, come on over and see us at Studio 28E Journal Creations. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.